Let me introduce you my um, development for the power grid, the Rocket uh, Power Grid software for PC and uh, mobile phone or tablets. Yeah, what is it? It's a, a software solution to send um, key commands from a tablet or a mobile phone to uh, the PC or to a game. Yeah. The system is very uh, flexible and open, um, and later I will show you why. Um, yeah, at first you have to install um, the software for the PC. Uh, you can download it on the Rocket page. And um, then you have to install the app at your tablet maybe, or a mobile phone, smartphone. And um, yeah, you have to connect um, the, the, uh, the app to the uh, PC. But it's um, not uh, difficult to install it and not, not, not uh, difficult to connect um, both interfaces or the software to the PC or the tablet, mobile phone to the PC. And um, yeah, then you have uh, the possibility to uh, load my grid. Yeah. Um, there is a, a marketplace integrated in the uh, software on the PC, so you have to create an account at the Rocket homepage um, and uh, then you have uh, the possibility to show and uh, to see the, the marketplace and all the grids uh, the people made for um, the games um, like Star Citizen or something else and um, uh, then you can download it and integrate it or um, yeah, import it in uh, the software and then you have all the controller settings directly. Um, um, as you see here on the left side, it's a screenshot of my mobile phone. It's um, German in a moment, it's for the uh, German client in the moment, but I am uh, also do it for um, the English client and for the um, English uh, um, key commands. And uh, you see there is a, a Positionslampen, a navigation lights, a Kabinenlicht, uh, the light inside the cockpit, Kabinendach, open canopy, and so on. And um, it's very easy to understand uh, which controller or which um, uh, button or key command is uh, behind this um, uh, yes, this graphical interface here, yeah, this or this little switch or knob or I don't know, maybe a, a wheel. Yeah, you see uh, ultimator. Yeah, you can um, yeah set different uh, um, settings there and engine, also motor an aus, engine on off, propeller switch, drehzahl höher, kleiner, größer, and uh, trimmung. Yeah, all these things. It's um, yeah very uh, very easy to understand because you you see directly um, which uh, a key bind or a, a key controller is uh, behind this um, graphical uh, a, a knob or, or switch or I don't know. Um, this um, I made all these um, switches and buttons in a 3D program because. Um, I don't want to use screenshots of the cockpits of the planes from uh, IL-2 because um, so um, maybe I have a license problem if I use screenshots. And so I designed all the switches here and so on um, in a 3D program because so I have uh, a better possibilities to use this interface also for close of Dover because um, I want to, to make um, this um, key controller or graphical interface for um, Cliffs of Dover, um, Eel 2, uh, Battle of Stalingrad or Battle of Bodenplatte, however, and also for Rise of Flight. So um, uh, what you're now seeing in the background is um, yeah, the controller, or this is a tablet, and uh, you see um, I press a button and um, yeah, the game received uh, the uh, key uh, commands. Yeah. So I will show you. So I have to, to press P because um, yeah. Now you see light on, light off, cockpit light, and now we're going to the navigation lights, position lights on, off, and so on. Why I said it's a flexible system. Yeah, I show you why. Because um, my grid or my grid layout, um, you can change it. Um, usually, if you import a grid 
Yeah. Then you see the grid. And if you import it, you have to check also um, the buttons I made or templates for the buttons. Yeah. I activate Allgemeine Einstellung, das Game Settings and the settings for the Focke Wolf, 190 A3. Then you import it. And uh, usually you see the grid here. And if you switch to editor, you um, see the templates of the software here. But you can change if you import my, my button templates, you can change to my controls. Here's my controls. And then you see all the buttons and all the yeah, keyboard uh, commands behind the buttons. And if you said, okay, this um, it doesn't make sense for me, delete it. Yeah, press delete activate and press delete, take the knob or the template and put it where you want. Yeah, and so you have to possibi uh, the possibility to uh, save your grid with a different name, like my, my grid or my my RV, I don't know. Yeah. And then you um, yeah, create your own grids. Yeah, if you say, oh, the drafts are, or the templates are, um, yeah, not good for for my, yeah, my way I play, um, you can change it. And um, I must say, I I love this uh, this uh, powerful tool because it's it's open and flexible for everyone, and uh, to create your own um, workflow or your own um, cockpit settings, instrument settings. Yes, this was the first movie to introduce the system, but uh, more movies will follow. Okay, see you.